All right, guys, I'm at Glebe Skate Park today. This park was completed in January 2021, but because it's part of a bigger parklands project here, the park didn't actually open until July. So it was finished for like six months just sitting here. This park was designed by Convict. Once again, you know, Convict designed amazing skate park. It cost them $6 million to build. And as you can see, the architecture here is supposed to resemble like the industrial side of Sydney. It's incorporated some iconic street spots like this old school cannonball manual pad here, the brick banks on the other side of the tunnel from the Darling Harbour brick banks. So they've incorporated a lot of Sydney's like infrastructure and paid a bit of homage to some OG skate spots here. I'll get into the skate park tour right now. So this skate park is shaped in a big V. So it comes down to the middle here and then goes that way towards the underneath the tunnel. So I'm going to start at the top end here. So at the very top where you have run up for the little down rails and the ledge there, there's actually some curved ledges up here that you can skate. So curved ledge all the way around. It's got coping all the way around this side too, or you can skate it and then drop into the bank, which is pretty cool that it's not just an empty area that they've made for run up, like they've actually put something here for you to skate as well. So we've got this cool brick bank that goes all the way along the side. There's a ledge there. The locals have put this little thing here to skate, which is sick. The two down rails or the out ledge you can hit from the bank or you can skate it into the bank. There's a bit of a gap down the bottom here too. So you can skate this as a gap or you can just hit either rail. On the other side of these rails where the, the bank continues all the way along to this side, but something cool that they've done, they've put a bit of transition at the bottom here. So it's not as sharp when you're hitting these banks. So they're a bit mellower than usual. Into this big middle section, there's a cool slappy curb with a kink. I think this is a street spot too. I'm not sure. Let me know if you guys know in the comments, but it's a kicker over like an electric pole, which is pretty sick. On the other side, you can skate it like an out ledge or a gap up like a Europe pad to manual pad you can also ollie up this skate the flat gap here or skate the ledge over the top you can use these for slappies you can skate manual pad this way so this whole middle obstacle piece here there's so much you can do next to that center piece you've got your standard a-frame rail section with a bank to bank gap in the middle the scary thing about this is when you're hitting the out rail you have to actually gap to it because the rail starts here you can do your flip tricks over or hit the rails then next to that is one of the most perfect ledges nice long ledge good height on it the coping doesn't go all the way at the top so when you're doing back tails and stuff you're sliding on the cement so it doesn't grip you up so that's a really good ledge i'm sure i'll be skating a lot today back to this middle section here is just a little roll in to get you speed for wherever you want to go in the park or you can hit this wall ride and you can skate the ledge on top and then we're going to head into this down section here so on the other side of this slappy curb we've got a long three stair this sick manual pad that goes across down and then flat the stairs continue on this side this is the cannonball manual pad i was talking about this ledge looks really fun to skate it's a cement ledge that's going down the slope but it's not too wide that you can't do board slides and lip slides too and then another brick bank that goes all the way down along to the other side from the bottom of this manual pad section you can either go two ways under each tunnel so you've got the flat bar here which in my opinion it's a bit of a whack flat bar it's super high and it's square but at least there's a flat bar here you've got the manual pad slash little ledge slash ledge over the top i love skating the ledges that go over the top like that and then through the tunnels which is so sick that they've incorporated this into the skate park these are the bridge banks i was talking about and you're riding on all brick here too so it just seems like you're at a real street spot here so you've got this first one that you can skate as a kicker or you can skate it as a ledge or you can skate them as hips this one here you can skate as a hip too or you can skate the ledges there's just so much diversity here that you can skate so as you can see the architecture here is amazing it actually feels like a lot of this stuff is street spots it just incorporated so much of sydney street history and the industrial area and everything because it's such a big street based plaza there's actually a perfect mini ramp that's built to the side of the park it's not inside the skate park but it's off to the side of it so they've kept this park really straight but they've had to add a half pipe in just to keep everyone happy so there's something here for everyone so that's the full skate park tour of the park i've only really skated here for like two or three proper times so i'm actually excited to skate this place properly and it's pretty empty as well got my homie jeff coming out to skate with me so we're gonna try and hit every single obstacle if we can and then i'll get into all the positives and the negatives of the park so let's start warming up
So this park has lights and it actually looks really sick when it's lit up at night. There's a big bin here at the middle of the skate park and there's a few more down at the car park here. And there's lots of parking spots here or you can park out on the main road where the skate park is. There's a big toilet block here under the tunnel so it's not far from the park. And on the other side of these tunnels where the brick banks are, there's a big water bubbler or if you go further into the park, there's another one that has like the water bottle filler. So I'd say the biggest positives of this park has to be the architecture and the design and just the vibes there when you're skating. That feels like you're actually skating at a street spot which is really cool and that the park is really open and has lots of flow there's lots of obstacles there so if it gets busy you can just go to a different section or there's a lot of room for a lot of people to be there at one time the negatives i would say if you're a transition skater you're not going to like this park it's a full-on street plaza unless you want to go there and skate the little half pipe on the side which is really fun but yeah it's designed as a street plaza there's obviously shade underneath the tunnels there but there's not any other shade at the park there it's also a newer park so the ground is really polished and shiny still so we were getting roasted the sun was bouncing off the ground plus the heat from the top of it and there wasn't much shade we'll just have to go and sit in the shade every five minutes because it was just so hot so take that into account when summer's coming up make sure you drink a lot of water and sit in the shade if you have to because it gets really hot out there another thing i noticed was there's no close train station there so if you're not driving i don't really know how to get there maybe like buses and ubers and stuff and i didn't come across any shopping centers that are close either so i don't know where you're supposed to get your food and drinks from but i drove there and i didn't find anything that was close so there's nothing that's actually close for you to get food or drinks from if you like this video check out my most recent skate park video here I did at Much Park which is another skate park that's close to Sydney. Let me know which park you want me to do next and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.